Hello, Warriors of Light. Welcome to another video here where it is one of my favorite days. I can't lie. It's the public live letter. It is the update for Final Fantasy 14. And uh, yeah, well, we're just going to go over it real quick. Uh, I'm going to do like a quick rundown, give you my thoughts on it, what I'm excited about, everything like that. Um, so if you guys uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, if you guys like Final Fantasy 14 content, because this is a Final Fantasy 14 channel. Uh, where we talk about, we make guides, we do discussion videos, everything here, pretty much Final Fantasy 14, anything related, updates, news, all that good stuff. So if you guys, I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, that'd be awesome. But yeah, let's get on to this public live letter. I, I am very excited. Um, and uh, thanks to the Final Fantasy 14 Discord. Um, I, she uh, does the live translates and everything for this, so she right here Miona, Miona. i'm just trying not to butcher it but yes she does a very very uh they do a very fantastic job on this and uh they do the live translate so we're just going to use this for this video um but yes definitely check out their discord it is 100 worth it um but yeah so starting off the bat we got the trailer which i highly recommend checking out it is very very good um i'm very curious um where we go after this. I'm not gonna say any spoilers or anything like that, but I am very curious. I really wanna play. The first thing I wanna do is play the MSQ because I wanna see the direction we go. You know what I mean? Um, if we get to see that or not, I have no idea, but I'm, I'm very curious what happens, um, especially at the end of this patch um, and where we go. But uh, beautiful uh, scenery. Uh, this is the pretty much off of the trailer, everything like that. But yes, I would recommend just watching the trailer. Golbez looks amazing. Uh, this boss thing here, um, I'm going to guess this is from uh, the third fight from the raid, but it looks sick. It looks really, really good. Um, but yeah, so anyways, they did that. They did the trailer, everything. You can go get your link and everything like that. Then they, they kind of do like a recap, the, this first part here. Um, you know, giving us the, the, you know, they said this in the last live letter. Uh, what, what, um it's pretty much like the same details um, that we had in the last one, which, you know, further men reveal weapons. But this is interesting because they said not much about the upgrade methods will change. Please enjoy the content while uh, upgrading your weapons. I, I hope, because we've talked about this before, I hope it's not the same. I hope we don't get like more tombstones. Uh, please give us like just options and other things. We'll see. I don't know exactly what that means, but I hope it's not tombstones again. I just you just need a ridiculous amount for the relics. It's just, in my opinion, it's boring personally. Um, and I I think relic. I, I always thought relic did a really good job on like filling like old like kind of like old zone content and like having to go out there and do things. Personally, that's just my thought on it. But yeah, we got a new dungeon, new trial, which they didn't they didn't do the question mark. We didn't even know it's uh, Golbez here, so. Um, and then we, they're talking about like the raid stuff, the, the final conclusion of the story. Uh, so May 30th is going to be the, the savage raid when it comes out. So if you guys are world first, uh, watchers, May 30th will be our, uh, watching party. So I'll definitely be watching. Um, and we've got the new variant criteria dungeons will be packed with content as well. And uh, yeah, so we got we got all that. Then they're going through the duty support thing. This is the last one they need to do. Or I think they have the patches uh, in this one. Um, I don't know. This is the patches here. I'm pretty sure. Well, thing they will try to get the rest of the 4.x dungeon support in the next patch. Okay, no, no. So they they have. So the main Stormblood is good, the main expansion, but they need the patch notes. And then they're they're finally done. Everything is caught up after that. So next expansion, they, they won't have to worry about doing this stuff, except for the trials, uh, which I think they're going to be doing the trials through the story. So you can play the story completely solo if you wanted to. Um, but yes, yeah, so we get PvP uh, updates, job adjustments, frontline adjustments, and um, the Blue Mage uh, as well. Um, the thing that was weird to me is this here. So we will get a demo later on showcasing the update to ocean fishing. 
we didn't get that. <laughs> I, I don't know if Yoshi P's is really tired because he's been traveling a lot, it seems like. Obviously, Final Fantasy 16 is coming out. He's got Fan Fest coming out. He's got this patch coming out. He's got a lot probably on his mind right now. Um, I imagine the dude is insanely working on it because he seemed pretty tired in this live letter. If you guys did watch any of the live letter, you know, even, you know, holding a piece of paper up, you know, uh, you know, his hand, you know, he seemed really, really tired. And I, I totally get it. I mean, he's probably been traveling a lot. He's working on like many, many things, you know, trying to keep all that. But he's got a lot on his mind. Um, and yeah, it's a busy, very busy time because it's 10 years of Final Fantasy. So uh, he's got a lot going on. So um but yeah uh he didn't i didn't see ocean fishing at all so that was, that was kind of weird uh the also with blue mage they didn't really dive into blue mage they just kind of told us what we knew beforehand uh then we get like the miscellaneous updates like i said this is pretty much recapped from the last one until we get to this part here where we get into the job adjustments which um they, they made adjustments, damage output with each roll, no uh, large scale changes implemented. So I don't know too much about this because I haven't like fully dived into end game with many, many characters or anything like that. I've like just starting to get into Savage content. So I'm pretty new to it. I don't know too much about this personally. Um, I, I don't know who's like top damage and stuff and this and that. Um, I play Samurai. I've been doing that with Savage. Uh, but I have no idea right now. Um, but they did do uh, a huge change. That um, our buffs now are thirty elms instead of fifteen on a lot of the other characters. So like you you don't have to be as close. So your buffs there's a lot of classes. I think like even dancer had a, like a buff at like fifteen elms. A lot of classes technician. I play machinist, so like technician and fifteen elms, and now that's thirty elms. So I don't have to be so close. Uh, two people so this is a good change overall kind of like a quality of life thing so that is good um they improved the usability of certain action jobs so they they did paladin and dragoon here now i haven't been i'm only like level 50 ish in paladin so i'm not really sure but I, it seems like this is pretty good um so like a quality of life change and then dragoon i have it's really low level um and so i i know about the jump thing and everything like that so um yeah, the dragon jump, they changed the high jump and everything. So it seems like, at least how I understand it, but maybe I'm wrong, you guys can comment down below, is when you do this dragon jump or high jump, you don't like, it doesn't like randomly jump backwards or whatever, or something like that. that. That's my understanding. Instead, it does the jump and it attacks, and then I think you go back to the same spot. That's my understanding of the game. I'm really curious to see how it is. Like, again, I haven't played much Dragoon yet. So I don't really know exactly, but it seems like people are happy about these changes is what I would say. Now, PvP updates. I love PvP in Final Fantasy XIV. I do. I actually really do. I play a lot of Crystal Conflict. Uh, I care about the, the PvP system. I think PvP is getting better um, in general. I think it's at kind of like at a good base right now. It still needs improvements and stuff like that. And they did dive into this. I was actually kind of surprised. On uh, I still like that they're, they're um, you know, Doing more and more with uh, the PvP. So we're in season seven, and uh, they they are finally uh, giving us a bigger reward, uh, which I actually really like. This it's better than nothing, of course. So you need the, to reach the top one hundred rankings or diamond tier, and you will receive additional rewards, including the item that will allow them to apply an effect to the Hellhound weapons. So you get an applied effect. Uh, Yoshi P did show this. But we only seen the black mage um, job. So this is what it kind of looks like. I think it's just the, the effects here that you can put on, which is like a red glowing effect and stuff like that. Now it's kind of hard here with these screenshots. Um, and it's really hard to tell because well, one, it's only the black mage. Cause I'm like, well, what does like the dark knight sword look like? What does these other classes, you know, uh, look like which is cool like this is cool to have another reward is it enough I uh, I don't know it depends I feel like we have to see the other weapons and classes and stuff like that so I kind of wish Yoshi P would have showed us a little bit more of it um but we'll see ourselves here and what we only got like 10 days until the next patch so we we will see um when we uh and we'll see what the other weapons look like. So I'm kind of curious. Maybe I'll make another video about uh, showing off the weapons and stuff like that. So really excited. This this is it's still 
It might get more people to play it more. We don't know yet. Again, like I said, I think we need to see the effects, but it's better. Is it much, much better? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I guess, is it going to make you play PvP more? I guess, to me, it's like, I, well, I love playing PvP. To me, um, it's really cool. It's another thing you can show off, like, oh, he was diamond rank, whatever, you know, and you can stand in town, and you're like, oh, how did you get that effect? And you're like, oh, I play PvP. So, we'll see. Is it going to be enough? Is it going to be a snowball effect to build up? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. But me, it gives me more incentive that I do want to get the diamond or top 100 uh, eventually. One of my, my big goals for PvP is to get top 100 at least once. I know there are cheaters and win traders, I guess, still pretty bad in the game. So hopefully they get better with that. Uh, they didn't mention anything about that, but um, I know uh, Brian uh, Riccardio there, he he um, he's like one of the top PvPers and stuff. And he, he's been doing PvP for so long and, you know, and he's still saying that there's win traders and everything like that there. So to me, I haven't like I didn't dive too much into the last season, so. I, I don't know. Uh, I haven't gotten up in the top rank much uh, in a while. I haven't pushed myself, I should say, but I've been casually playing it. Uh, this uh, frontline adjustments, um, this is good. Uh, I like this a lot. I like this UI update. I think this is really, really good. This is, this is quality of life. I think it's definitely an improvement. Um, and also, now you can get series XP for your daily challenge frontline, which you can get like a bonus for it now, which is good. I think you've always been able to get um, the series XP, but now you get a bonus one as well. So if you're just like that daily, I run one fr front line a day. Uh, this is just another awesome thing for you. Um, then we get a new. So this is my I don't know. This is my favorite front line personally is the mining one. And they're making big, big adjustments to it, which they, they completely changed the map um you got like pretty much two floors bridge bridge and stuff like that and they got rid of the uh what you would call it the little circle things over here which i i kind of thought they were pointless i'm gonna be honest because um uh I, I just didn't think they did much i remember stealing them from other uh you know people but like it didn't really change the score that much and i don't know and to me they, I, they kind of felt pointless personally but um yeah i just like this so now they're just gonna they they got this new map and they're just gonna spawn the stones around instead of uh having the um what you would call it the the rings you have to cap like your base pretty much you got your base and you have to go and get these ores and stuff like that but now it's just gonna be the ores i think this is gonna be better i, I like these changes i think i like that they're still updating this stuff um uh, but yes and you know so changes to terrain and placement of icebound Total this and the score has been adjusted as follows. Then removed and large and small ice bound homeless will not respond. Uh, dead required defeating other players is unchanged. So that is cool. I'm excited for the front lines and the PvP changes. I think I think people that love PvP in 14 that they're just happy to get updates because this is probably the most uh, it seems like I'm pretty new to the game, so like I'm I'm only Shadowbringers 5.4, but it seems like people are are happy they're still making adjustments, you know. Again, it's improvements, and we'll see how it goes, you know, later on. And then we got the Golbez. They showed us part of the Golbez fight, which was really, really cool. I mean, Golbez looks sick with the sword and the dragon and everything like that. Uh, especially if you're Final Fantasy IV fans, um, you get to see this the this big 3D model of uh, Golbez here, um, which is really cool. And we got like this giant cube thing. I don't know if it's going to rotate or expand or whatever, but the arena is really, really cool. It is a pretty small area too. So we'll have to see. He did show us a little bit of the fight, but not too, too much. But it had some cool effects. Overall, I think the fight looks cool. Then uh, we, get, we get the weapon contest, uh, design contest, which is the tombstone gear, which uh, these look great in my opinion. This sword and shield is awesome uh i love the design warrior i think is really really cool it's like a kind of like a pizza cutter um that one's really cool i think the sword is awesome uh it's really hard to tell because like it's in paper so but when we see them in game i think this is going to be really cool and uh, hopefully uh you know collector's uh gun blade it's like i like the monk one a lot i think this is really really cool i just the design is awesome I can't wait till we get to the silly ones too, but we got the really cool ones right now, the spirit. And these have animations too, again, 
It's a piece of paper. I don't know why <laughs> Yoshi P doesn't show it on the, uh, I don't know, show it in game or, you know, show it on, uh, you know, presentation, or whatever. He's still using paper, but hey, whatever. It's fun, I guess, you know. Uh, the daggers of the ninja, they're pretty cool. Uh, they're like stone. This also has an animation around it. They said it was really hard to design. But again, you can't really tell with the, the paper the samurai. This one's fine. It's hard to say. Uh, we'll see if it has any effects or anything on it. The Reaper one looks really, really cool. Uh, let's see this bow. This one looks kind of fun. This is like totally barred. It has like the flowers and everything like that. As you can see, Yoshi P, you know, hands hands are getting tired, yo. Uh, like I totally understand. I don't think, he, like I said, I don't think he slept that much. But though, yo, this machinist one is sick. There is an animation right here, which they do show a picture later on. That is pretty cool. Um, and I like it a lot. This one is, <laughs> he had trouble. So this is a dancer weapon, actually. He, he didn't know, like, he was holding it. He was like, well, which way does it go? But yeah, this is a dancer uh, weapon. I'm really curious how you're going to throw this, you know? I, I really am. <laughs> uh, that it man, like, don't, don't, don't hurt yourself, you know? Throwing that sucker as a dancer. I really like this one personally. I just like the feel of it with the lantern and everything. I hope it dangles. I think that'd be so cool. If it dangles around and everything like that. So then we got your book, which, you know, that one's fine. It's a book. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, this one's kind of cool too, which is kind of, I think it's like a chocobo kind of ish sword. I don't know. Uh, but it looks cool though. I like it. I like it. Uh, I like this one too. Well, I think this is white mage here, but yeah, he went and uh, showed like <laughs> poor Yoshi P. Like, I think this one's upside down. I'm pretty sure this one's upside down. Uh, this is the Astro one, but uh, I, I just think it's yeah. I think I think the I think Yoshi was a little tired today. Uh, then the umbrella is really cool. I mean, Sage is 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 cool too. Uh, but yeah, this is the blue mage, just the umbrella, which I hope like did we sick if we like shoot beams out of that, you know. Uh, but yeah, then they showed a little bit of pictures with the armor set and everything like this, which is really cool. This is the plate one. Um, this is the dragoon one, like the melee monk. This is the machine. So like I can't even see it in here either. But there's an animation effect right here, uh, but it's you can't even see it. Uh, but we'll see it in game and stuff like that. So I'm excited. I mean, he kind of shows it here a little bit better because it's really hard because it's very, very light. But yeah, you can see it there, which this one looks really cool. I actually like the armor set too. And then the, the daggers, which are really cool. Sage. So yeah, these are these are really, really, really cool. Then we get into the Savage Raid talk or the new the new raid talk. I shouldn't say Savage, but you know, the, the new raid. Um which uh, they showed us the arena and everything, which was, it was actually a pretty big arena. And I uh, showed us a little bit of the fight here, which was very cool. Uh, the things that they do, the floors are going to like change and stuff like that. There's a new marker. Uh, I don't think they got it here, but there is like these new markers. Um, it looks really cool and looks really, really fun. Uh, I don't think they got the markers on here. So the debuff is normal mode. I don't think it's have to leave a bleed debuff. Um, uh, yeah. And then they said the fourth floor felt fresh, but I think it might be a little difficult even in normal mode. The floor keeps changing. We'll have to find, figure out. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it looks, and this is going to be the end of the story for the, the savage, uh, or the, the raid tiers. So we're, we're, that they're going to finish the Pandanorium story up. Because obviously this is the last tier until you know next expansion, um, but yeah, this this one is uh, really cool. Um, let me see here. I'll just make sure nothing here. And then we got to the big one, which it seems like people are happy about this, but they still want more improvements. Again, I haven't gone through the savage gearing and stuff like that, which I really do want to get to. But I'm doing a bunch of other things and making a bunch of other guides. I'm like going through like mining stuff and like other like smaller uh, things in the game just because the it's hard time wise for me being a dad and everything like and trying to find a raid group that raids uh, at late at night uh, for me. I haven't found one yet. I have done some party finder stuff and done some of the extremes and uh, a little bit of savage, but not enough yet. So that's been like my difficulty part is just finding the time and raiding with people. Um, especially just being a dad, anything, you know, can happen. Um, 
you know, if the kid's not sleeping, the wife needs help, stuff like that. You know, the kid, you know, the dad life, yo. Um, but that's why I just haven't gotten into it. So I don't under, I don't fully understand. Like, I understand what they're doing. It's just like, I don't, I don't know how the, how it feels yet or anything like that. But I watched a few other people and they said this, this is obviously it's better. It's better changes. So they're lowering the body gear, the leg gear and the accessories down to, you know, three to six or whatever. Uh, 663 from 884 and all that. So, um, and I think, yeah, this is like the, the, the exchange and stuff like that. And then, uh, let's see. Then they changed um, from one to three, which is the pages, or you can change your four down to three, two, or one uh, for gear wise. Uh, but overall, for the Savage stuff, it seems like a lot of people are a lot happier about this. This is, like, in the right direction. It's not fully there yet. Um, but, yeah, and they did say that you can get body armor now for the Fight 3. I guess Fight 3 has always been not a very good thing for gearing. So now having body armor. They didn't say if they, because body armor is on 4, but they didn't say they didn't say they got rid of it on 4. So you might be able to get body armor in 3 and 4. Um, that's what most people are, are thinking anyways. Um and then here's the raid gear. This looks really cool. I like the little diamonds in the back. I think this looks slick. Uh, I'd love to see it in game personally, but yeah, it looks really good. Uh, Samurai looks really good. I play Samurai, so this looks really cool. This looks like a back attachment. At first, I thought this was the sword attachment, but no, I think this is behind the character, which looks really nice. Uh, again, I'd love to see these in game. This bow looks really good. I actually really like this bow, which I'm almost level 90 on my bard. All right, I'm doing a lot of leveling on my, my alt characters. Um, and then we got white mage, like the cloth ones there. So yeah, the raid gear looks really cool too. Uh, they've been doing a lot of animation stuff lately with the gear, so that's awesome. Um, dude, my, my wish list still is, I hope, it's probably not gonna have it till like next expansion, but I hope they have a transmog uh, collection system in the game like Guild Wars 2 or World of Warcraft's um, transmog system. Because, man, I would love to collect all the gear and stuff and uh, have it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully one day, maybe next expansion, maybe uh, we get that. That's that's on the wish list, though. Um, so, yeah, we got Island Sanctuary. I'm very excited for Island Sanctuary. I like Island Sanctuary a lot. I've done all the content so far. I just don't have all the animals yet. I still have to go after all the animals, which I'm probably going to make guides on that, too. But, um, yeah, so new Sanctuary. We got a lot of new ranks, visions, gathering areas in the wild. So I think they're expanding on the land. They didn't show that, though. Uh, new construction plots on the highway. They didn't show any of that. New item rewards, new materials, craftable items, crops, animals. And handicrafts and new structures. So, but they didn't really show too much uh, of that. Um, but they showed the furnishing stuff, where stuff you can place on your island. You can even change the color uh, with the dyes and everything like that, which is really cool. And he showed off, you know, like here we got another button here where you can design, which I think this is going to help Island Sanctuary a lot. I think a lot of people want this. It's going more into the Animal Crossing way, and I think this is much much better for island sanctuary i think more people are going to even enjoy it more and you're going to want to go out and get like you, you know your your outdoor furnishing stuff the nice thing about the outdoor furnishing stuff is and this is why i'm hoping maybe it's copium hopium i don't know but they kind of have a system where you get the outdoor furnishing stuff and it turns into a glamour and you only have to get it one time and you can post them. That's why he was showing multiple of these statues here. And, and, and that's why I'm like, I'm hoping next expansion, you know, maybe they get that. Maybe this is like a test for them, uh, technology and stuff like that. But I would love for the, something like this um, where you just you have the item. It's a saved collection spot and then you just have it. So that supposedly these are like glamours and you can put as many as you want on here. So if you want 90 of these statues, you can, which if you guys didn't know, you get 90, you put 90 um, furnishing stuff. That's the the max that you can get, which is actually way more than the housing um, there is. Because I think people say large housing can only have like 30 or something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know the exact number. You guys will have to tell me down below. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, very, very cool. I, like I said, I think this is going to help um island sanctuary a lot and he was just showing you how to like how do you move the things how do you turn things uh i actually need to start getting into housing so maybe i can like understand a little bit more because i don't even know how you design the house 
like go into edit mode and stuff like that. I don't even have a house in the game. I've been living on the streets, you know, uh, not in an apartment yet, but I'm going to probably mess around with this more and start getting into like collecting stuff. And so I can put in stuff in my house and or apartment. I don't even have an apartment yet. I have the money to get it. I just, I just haven't done it yet. I've been focusing on other content in the game. There's a lot of content in the game, uh, a lot of variety of content, but yeah, this is really cool. And I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I, I personally would love to see uh, events or something that happen in Island Sanctuary, but maybe in the future. But this this is a good step. I think this is really, really good. Uh, just designing your island because everyone's island kind of felt the same. There wasn't enough uh, difference at all, especially like there wasn't many like structure choices and stuff like that. But this this will bring it in. And I would love to see what people come up with uh, for their island. So very excited. Very, very excited. So there's 120 slots in the list of items. So if you see as glams, you can place 90 items on the island. And then they show off some rewards, which is the island sanctuary rewards, I think, for the, the clothes here. Um, then they then the 2019 design where we have like these. Uh, we'll be at some housing items here. So we got all that. This one here. Which is really cool. I love that they, they have the contests and put in the game stuff. Then we got the variant in Criteria Dungeons, with this, which they went over kind of the same rules of as you know, it was pretty much the same thing as the first one. Um where like you know, they're showing the abilities and everything like this, you know, but it's pretty much all the same. Uh everything is pretty much the same. Um Dinner vibe, yeah, they, they go the same rules, but they did show us the new look of it and everything, and who we're going with on this one, which is the Stormblood uh, dude. Um, sorry, I'm terrible with names, but the one that Tatro, um, Tatro and them help each other out. So this one uh, is going to have like the same twelve. Um, you're going to have twelve pathways, which I've done guide videos on the, the variant dungeon. I did all twelve. Um, so if you guys need help with that at all, I do have guide videos for those, and I'll do the same thing for this one, where I'll go through all of them, make guide videos on, to help out people that want to get it done and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, this place actually looked really beautiful, and I actually really like this one more than I did just the theme of it um, personally. Um, that's just, just a personal opinion there, but I, I do like the theme. I think it looks beautiful, uh, especially the outdoor scenery. If we go down here, when he shows it off, like the background and stuff, I think it's so cool. Um, like so it's like this outdoor f uh, forest area. So I think I like it that it's outdoors because the other one was like we're in like a sewers and stuff like that. We're underground. This one's more like a big open uh, area. But yeah, I mean, like the scenery looks great. Um, I love it. So I'm excited for, I am very excited for this. Um, the biggest problem with variant criteria dungeons was the rewards, but they didn't really, they didn't really show the rewards. <laughs> I don't know. They, they showed rewards, but I don't know what they were attached to. Uh, uh, it's a little bit further down, but the first boss looks really sick. Uh, she looks, she's a ninja. She looks really cool. The mechanics look really cool. It looks really, really fun. Uh, she's doing a lot of ninja stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully the what she's wearing, uh, hopefully that's some glamour we can get, hopefully. But uh, this new variant dungeon looks awesome. Uh, take time, read the clues, hand button rounds, line rewards for the dungeon. So we have like this here. So you got some glamour we can get there. Uh, I didn't show any, then he said, I didn't show any of the mounts yet, did I? New crafted gear first. And he shows like the crafted gear that you can get. Which the, the spear has the spear looks pretty cool. Actually, it's like a drill. Uh, new crafted gear, samurai there. This has like a that certain Final Fantasy like style. I don't know if it's like from Final Fantasy Ten vibes it's giving me, but yeah, this the jacket looks good. The the dancer one looks good. Ninja and stuff. So that's the crafting gear. Uh, ninja is trying to fit in today's world. Yeah. Um, I think this is still we have it to gear found this 14. Are you into savage of this gear? And then you got this. And then he showed the new mounts. Uh, but we don't know what these are tied to, though. So that that's what the weird thing with this live letter was. It felt like a few things were missing. Like he like the ocean fishing, we didn't get the new updates on that. I don't know if you should be just forgot or um this, but we got like new mounts. 
uh of course the fly and so on sliding off white light is just strong they were really funny though and it was it was a really fun live stream um they got more mounts like this this might i don't know this might be the variant dungeon mount maybe hard to say having a flying around this one's i think this one's part of the, this one actually might be the variant dungeon one which i think this one's pretty awesome with a, you're literally inside this thing's mouth <laughs> just getting carried around I think that one's great. I think honestly, this one's all right. I think this is an island sanctuary one, but I mean, literally, it's kind of the same thing, just with uh, a flower, a little pinkish, which I'll, of course, I'll get them because I collect mounts and everything like that. That's what I like to do. This one's probably my favorite. Uh, this little robot dude that carries you, showing around, but it, it literally like transform. It's like a transformer, transforms into this like torpedo thing. So very, very, very cool um but yeah i i think that is and they showed some minions we got a little bit of the minions here i think this guy looks awesome definitely want him the, i think the ninja dog looks great so i think that's very very cool um but yeah and then that that was pretty much it it felt like there were some things missing like we didn't dive into any like blue mage stuff um didn't really talk about the criteria rewards kind of like i don't know I feel like there's a few things missing, but like we'll figure it out here pretty soon. So I'm not like too too worried. But overall, it was like a positive a live letter. It just I felt like there could have been you know more things to show, like the ocean fishing and um, ocean fishing. And I thought he was going to dive more into the the variant criteria rewards because we just kind of got a recap of the same rules and everything like that. But overall, very positive, very excited. I love the PvP changes. Um, excited for the MSQ. Like I said, just to see where it goes. I'm excited for uh, the new raid. The new raid looks awesome. Um, especially Blue Mage. I need to do my Blue Mage stuff. Uh, I need to, because I haven't even started yet. So I got a ways to go. And um, Criteria, of course. Very excited for that. That's the point four five. you know, the, the point five, uh, uh patch. Uh, with hopefully the Relic weapons are different. I hope. But I'm not looking for like something crazy. I just hope it's not the same thing as the first two steps <laughs> personally. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, Fan Fest is coming up. So the next live letter is um, the Fan Fest. So that will be the next one, which is July 28th to the 29th. So you guys are ready to watch the Fan Fest stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, that is it for this video. Um, um Yoshi P is going to do the patch notes uh, reading, which is on, uh, I think it's May 22nd. I think, is that their time? Or Tuesday, 23rd May. Um, but anyways, yeah, Yoshi P is going to do the, he's going to read the, the patch notes like he usually does. But yeah, overall, for me, very excited. Um, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of gaming this uh, whole month. So like, I only have like two weeks, I think, two to three weeks because uh, Diablo 4 comes out and then uh, I'll be playing Diablo 4 for like three weeks and then Final Fantasy 16 comes out and then I'm going to no life that be probably 100% the game and then back to 14 then for sure um, unless something else comes up that I don't know but like PoE doesn't have a new season until like August um, D4 season 1 maybe but I don't know We'll see how all that all goes. But anyways, it is a busy schedule up ahead. I'm super excited. It's going to be a fun gaming month uh, for sure. I know I know Zelda just came out. Uh, I didn't beat Breath of the Wild. I, I liked it, but I didn't love it kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of games out here right now for people. So it is probably the most busiest gaming month uh, ever in, in summertime, like this early summertime. I have not, rem I have not remembered a as busy of a summer season is this uh, for gaming. So, oh, well, it's fun. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, I'm rambling on, but uh, I like to talk about these things. So if you guys want to hit that sub button, I'd really appreciate it or hit the like button or comment down below. Wow, it's 34 minutes long, jeez. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's a little quick run up of uh, the three hour uh, live letter uh, and just my thoughts overall on it. So hit the like, comment, subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you guys want to check me out, twitch.tv slash oldish22. Uh, you can follow me there to watch, obviously, Final Fantasy XIV or Diablo IV. I, I pretty much focus on MMOs and ARPGs. Uh, I'm pretty much, I'd just say RPGs overall is what I focus on because 
I even play JRPGs. I play, you know, like single player RPGs. I'm an RPG dude. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so but MMO RPGs 14 and like POE for ARPGs and stuff like that. And we'll be checking out D4 and stuff. So yeah, anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Adios.